Ultra processed foods cause cancer is the subject of today's Food for Thought. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is a overview of some research, some French research that was published at the end of last week. Um, and this is a really great way that I found in the newspaper to um, make a little bit of more of an understanding actually what's going on with these findings. So we all know, we, we've heard about processed foods and things like that, but what they're saying is that ultra processed foods is what is causing um, or, or more, makes you more susceptible to getting cancer. Um, now we've talked to this, for those of you who've been following my videos a long time, um, you do know that I've been banging on about this for years and years. So it's nice to see some uh, research go national about actually the, the, the pitfalls of processed foods. Now in this, let's have a look at a little example. This is one of my favorite examples. You can see there you've got raspberries. So natural food, one ingredient. You go into the jam and you've got six ingredients and then you've got a jammy dodger <laughs> you've got there 25 ingredients so this is a great way to uh, see um, not only just you know how many ingredients are in there because of course you can make a ratatouille for instance which is quite a healthy thing it's got loads of vegetables so it's not just on the amount of ingredients but the bad ingredients so if you're putting salt and sugar and fat etc etc in one meal then this is where you are going to not uh, promote your health or not be keep your immune system strong against cancer. This is what it's all about. Um, as, I, as always, I've been promoting uh, waters and things like that, and they're also on here, guys. Sodas are ultra processed. Although it looks like plain water, it has, as we warned before, it has got a lot of chemicals in there. And the really shocking one on here for me is white bread, or actually any processed bread. It, but what's it saying is any mass manufactured bread is ultra processed which to be honest is pretty uh is pretty self-explanatory if you think what's actually in bread and what goes through bread um obviously it doesn't look anything <laughs> to what it does look like when it comes out of the ground so it definitely is even things like pasta if you compare pasta to rice obviously rice is quite a natural product if you think about how it comes out the ground but pasta has definitely been through lots of different uh, processing to actually get it how it is um let me just go through quickly some of the things on here so for instance um, uh, um, frozen chips, um, chicken nuggets. Another big one for me, guys, was the vegetable crisp. Ultra. Again, people are eating them as a health product, but no way. Obviously, sausage rolls, that's an easy one. Um, ultra processed or ready meals, which again is self explanatory. Um, carrot cake. Cake came up as a real big one, guys. So that if you're a cake addict like me, then <laughs> uh, stay away from the cake. And obviously, things like uh, pizzas, you've got chicken dippers there. Um, even this Tesco Healthy Options Chicken and Asparagus Risotto. Again, if you think about what's, what has actually gone into that to make it look and taste uh, how it is. And you've even got Orangina. So again, you have an appetise, you have an Orangina. You know, it's got all that real natural fruit in there. But again, if you think about how it's come into that state. Um, and then here's another one. Gravy, guys. So you've got milk. Uh, you've got cheese squares, then ultra processed is going into the cheese sauce. And lastly, which again is another big one for a lot of people, a ready-made sandwich. So if you eat a ready-made sandwich every day, then... Um, actually, I'm not going to say you're in trouble, because the problem is here is, if you have three meals a day ultra processed, this is when you're at a high risk of getting cancer. If you're having one, possibly two per day, then you know your chances are not so high. So it really is if you are having ultra processed food all day, 
every day. If you're having it once a day, I really don't think it's a problem. It's if your only nutritional intake is ultra processed, this is when you really need to take the advice that's being given out because you are pushing down your immune system so low and you're not going to be able to fight off colds, flus and then obviously on long term it will go to cancer. Um, so, you know, take this as a nice warning guys, something um, to inspire you to be healthy um, and I do have some close friends at the moment that have got cancer so, and again, if for those of you that have read Louise Hay and How to Heal Your Life, she promotes going vegan, okay? Anybody with cancer, you've got to cut your toxins down in your body. So going vegan, I'm not promoting it for weight loss, but I'm saying if your body is under attack from toxic substances like cancer, then this is where you can help your body fight off by going on to vegan. Uh, have a little look at the book or the video if you want some help. It's Louise L. Hay, How to Heal Your Life. So if you've got any comments on this, I'd love to hear from you what you've seen. Um, again, as I said, I really think uh, the biggest one there is bread and you know the processed dairy bakery products and I'll just reiterate again why I love Aldi compared to Lidl because Lidl's got that lovely bakery there that's very hard to say no to and most of the supermarkets as well even little co-ops now have got their own little bakery but if you do shop in somewhere like Aldi then of course you haven't got the lovely smells and the temptation of a bakery which are ultra processed. My name has been Jodie Bunting and this is our little video. To catch up on all our previous videos go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting and subscribe to be notified when we upload a new video. That's it tonight. Please leave a comment on this video if you feel strongly about this subject. Thank you for now. Have a great evening guys. Bye bye.